In today's interconnected world, cyber threats loom larger than ever, infiltrating the very systems that keep our societies running smoothly. Cybersecurity breaches targeting operational technology, or OT, are on the rise. The consequences of breaches can be significant and even life-threatening. In 2023, in the US, the Municipal Water Authority of Aliquippa was targeted by a hacking group suspected to be backed by Iran. The breach occurred due to vulnerabilities in authentication systems, including default passwords and single-factor authentication, compromising critical water supply systems. Later that same year, Iran experienced a significant cyber attack that disrupted services at around 70% of the country's petrol stations. The cyber attack, claimed by a hacker group known as Predatory Sparrow, targeted the software systems managing the fuel distribution at the petrol stations by exploiting vulnerabilities in authentication systems. The result left citizens stranded, causing chaos and long queues at gas stations. Three quarters of OT organisations reported at least one intrusion in the last year. Nearly one third fell victim to ransomware attacks, with intrusions from malware up 12%, and from phishing up by 9%. There are several key reasons why intrusions are succeeding. All too often, the manufacturer's default passwords are not changed. And even if they are, they are rarely updated in line with best practice. Weak or reused passwords are another major problem that persists and only gets worse with the ever-increasing number of passwords that users are expected to remember. It is also very common for passwords to be shared amongst multiple engineers rather than setting up unique accounts. And all of this makes it virtually impossible to deal securely with contractors or levers. Additionally, OT devices are increasingly being connected to IT networks, third-party devices and even the internet, adding even more attack vectors. In May 2021, the Colonial Pipeline one of the largest fuel pipelines in the United States, fell victim to a significant ransomware attack, exploiting weaknesses in authentication protocols. The attackers targeted IT systems, which led to the shutdown of Colonial's OT systems, causing widespread fuel shortages and panic buying across several states. Transportation systems are also at risk. In November 2022, in Denmark, a cyber attack on Supeo brought railway operations to a standstill, highlighting the risk of outdated authentication mechanisms. From disrupting nuclear facilities to contaminating water supplies, these attacks pose grave risks. Incidents have been reported all over the globe and clearly demonstrate that strengthening authentication systems, particularly in PLC devices and OT, is imperative to safeguarding critical infrastructure from cyber adversaries. Advanced authentication technologies, such as the Switch OTAC solution, offer robust protection for PLCs and OT systems. OTAC for PLC devices is passwordless MFA without the network and represents the latest weapon to tackle an ever-changing threat landscape. It's never been more critical than right now to strengthen global cybersecurity defenses to ensure the security and reliability of our critical infrastructure.